As always, it is so great to have you here, and I hope you're staying warm and bundled up out there. Uh, I don't know about you, but for me, this seems like one of the cooler winters that we've had in the last couple years. Anyways, with that being said today, we're making a heartwarming recipe that's not only very easy to make, but it's packed with a ton of goodness. We're talking a Spanish fish and rice soup. Now, the beauty of this recipe is that we're gonna be using fish that's been bought and frozen and thawed out instead of fresh fish, making this soup so much more affordable and accessible, but without compromising flavor and texture. Folks, this is the perfect soup for any time of the year, but it's extra special right now during winter, as with that first spoonful, it's gonna completely warm your body. All right, let's start by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna roughly dice one medium-sized onion, uh, cut one red bell pepper into small bite-sized pieces, and thinly slice one carrot that's been peeled. Then we'll cut two slices from a baguette, each one being one inch thick, which is two and a half centimeters. And remove the skins from four cloves of garlic. For the next step, I'm gonna heat a stock pot with a medium heat and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in the slices of baguette and the cloves of garlic. And we're gonna fry these ingredients between two to three minutes until they're golden fried all around. Once the slices of baguette and the cloves of garlic are golden fried, I'm gonna remove them from the stock pot and set them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in all the chopped vegetables and we'll mix them around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix this continuously. That way everything evenly sautés. After about four to five minutes and the vegetables are lightly sautéed and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna season the vegetables with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way the seasonings are evenly mixed into the vegetables. Then we'll add in five cups of fish broth, which is 1200 milliliters. And let me tell you, the fish broth is one of the most important ingredients in this soup, as is what gives it that incredible depth of flavors. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish fish broth I'm using for this soup in the description box below. And we'll also add in two sprigs of fresh thyme. Then we'll heat it to a high heat, give it a mix, and bring it to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, it's time to add in the rice. I'm gonna measure out half a cup of Spanish round rice, which is 100 grams, and add it into the stock pot. To make this recipe, you can use whatever type of rice you like, but let me tell you, by using a short grain rice, like Spanish round rice, is what gives this soup that beautiful texture. And we'll give it a mix, that way everything is well mixed together. Then we'll place the lid on the stock pot, and we'll lower it to a low medium heat. While the rice is cooking, let's start getting the rest of the elements ready to make this soup. I'm gonna add in the pieces of fried bread and garlic into a food processor, along with a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams, two tablespoons of fresh parsley, which is about eight grams, and a kiss of sea salt and we'll pulse it together until we end up with a paste-like texture. If you don't have a food processor, you can also use a mortar and pestle here, or even a handheld blender. And for the final ingredients to prepare, we have the star of the show. I'm gonna add in one pound of cod fillets over some paper towels and 15 raw jumbo shrimp that have been peeled and deveined. And once again, I bought this seafood frozen and thawed it out, so it's very important to pad it completely dry with paper towels to remove any of the excess water in the shrimp and cod. That way later on when we add them into the stock pot, they can absorb all the flavors and keep their beautiful firm texture. Then we'll season the cod fillets and the shrimp with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper and we'll cut the cod fillets into small bite-sized pieces and eat shrimp in half. 
All right, let's move back to the stock pot. It's been 15 minutes since I added the rice in there, which is about three minutes of that rice being fully cooked through according to the package instructions of the rice I'm using. So make sure to check the package instructions in the rice that you're using as you wanna take this next step about three minutes before that rice is fully cooked through. I'm gonna add in the bread and garlic mixture into the stock pot and we'll give it a mix. That way everything's well mixed together. And let me tell you, that mixture is gonna add an incredible depth of flavors to the soup. Then we'll add in the pieces of cod and place the lid back on the stock pot and go for about two minutes. After about two minutes, we'll add in the shrimp into the stock pot And we'll place the lid back on the stock pot and go for another two minutes. This is enough time for all that seafood to be perfectly cooked through and for that rice to be right on the money. Then we'll remove the stock pot from the heat, transfer the soup into shallow bowls, and we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out, our Spanish fish and rice soup is done. This is known in Spain as una sopa de pescado y arroz. Super easy to make, beautiful presentation, and the aromas coming out of it are gonna give you an instant trip to the Spanish Mediterranean coast. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, sopa de pescado y arroz, a classic Spanish seafood soup. Grab a little bit of everything. Here we go. Again. It's a chilly day outside, and the first spoonful of this just instantly warms your soul. You saw this easy to make. Uh, we used seafood that was bought frozen and thawed out, making it so much more affordable and accessible, and the flavors are out of this world. The secrets here, use a great fish broth, and then that mixture with the bread, the garlic, uh, the saffron, and the parsley is what takes the soup to another level. Folks serve this next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish white wine, more specifically from the wine region of Rueda, you're gonna have yourself an instant trip to beautiful España. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Don Dayan and Hel Gonzalez. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Uh, leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we're a Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time. Hasta luego.